Hi guys, good evening. So just recording a short uh short ano, short trade walkthrough on my trade on M wide. So this is my ano, this is my receipt for for that trade. No? So basically more or less I think I profited around 200 <clears throat> siguro close to 230 to 240,000 pesos no. So around that, around that, around that peso value game. So one day, uh, <clears throat> basically, I just bought on breakout, and I just sold today. So basically, it's just a one day hold. No? So I'll explain why, where I bought, and why did I sell today. Okay. So see. Okay. 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 Okay, so this is the chart of Mega White. As you can see, uh, for the longest time, this has been, you know, the the eight pesos level was actually holding as a very strong resistance for a very long time already. Okay, so so kati natin yung ano yung range, yung day range, no, from from this high up to this level okay. so basically if you count the number of days this is roughly close to six months okay so close to six months now so um this kind of setup is very is a very basic buy on breakout strategy no so bakit ko sinasabi yun? um in our trading system um this is a staple for momentum trader no? so this is a very very basic buy and breakout. Okay, kasi kita natin dito na for the longest time, 8 pesos has been resisting. Okay? So maraming beses siya ng trap. Okay? As you can see here, um, bilang ito na. You have 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? 4 times siyang nauntog sa 8 pesos no? So, dito, actually, untog din siya. Untog din siya on, on the sixth time at this level. However, however, meron kang maliit na, meron kang maliit na, what? There's a small box here. Okay? So, kung body to body yung plotting natin, ganito ang itsura niya. So, technically, medyo pilit na breakout na nangyari dito at this level. No? So, burahin natin yung vertical line. So, kita natin dito, parang bull trap ang nangyari sa 8 pesos level. But on this mini box, it's actually a breakout at 7.90. Okay? So, yun. No? So, as you can see from my entry price, uh, my average entry price was around 7.9 pesos. Okay? So, kung mga parang I was willing to, ano, I was willing to hold that Actually, when I when when I bought M wide at seven ninety seven eighty, I was already up on a three four percent. No, parang hindi siya during that time. I bet ako na kaya to, uh, just to secure the profit no, during Thursday, which was November twelve. No, pero sabi ko sa ko, parang medyo milestone breakout. No, kasi parang for the longest time, it finally closed above. Kung wala parang na break niya eight pesos na barrier. With volume, oh. so ayan, kita naman natin dito, there's a volume. So, kumbaga parang, it sort of confirms the the breakout. Kumbaga parang, it's a breakout with volume. Okay. So, ayan. So, so, if you're going to plot your Darbus box here, okay, if you're going to plot your Darbus box here, ito siya. So, meron kang malaking Darbus box at that level. So, ako ang tawag ko dito, this is what we call a macro box. No? So, kumbaga parang I combine all of the boxes into one big box just to show the major box component. Okay? So, in this case, pwede natin itong ano yun, no? pwede natin itong guhita na Oy! What, what does this mean? No? What does this mean? So, basically, it's creating what we call a lower high ay higher low pattern okay so ito yun you have this 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 
in this thing. So, what does it tell you? What does it tell you? Basically, it's telling you that every time that the price tries to break out from 8 pesos, okay, nauntog talaga siya. Nauntog talaga gawin natin itong candlestick para makita nyo. Nauntog talaga siya. No? Which kita naman natin na there is always a very strong resistance at the 8 pesos level. However, the good thing here is it always creates a higher low. Okay, so kung mga may kita mo, it's really sloping upwards. Okay, it's really sloping upwards. So, kung mga parang it's a matter of time when this would break out. And apparently, it did broke out today. It broke out today. No? So, if we zoom in, meron kang gap. Gap at 8.40. It opened at 8.40 atong candle na to eh. Okay, it opened at 8.40. So, parang ako, titinitingan ko siya as a sign of strength. Titinitingan ko siya as a sign of strength. However, since it's 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 first time na nagkaroon ng significant breakout, pwede tong magtuloy-tuloy pa taas or pwede tong magkaroon na mini pullback. Mo. So, in in my trading system, uh, gusto ko tong mga ganitong breakout. However, um, medyo na tingin ko medyo maaga yung sell ko no kasi I sold at sa 8.75. Okay, so iipin natin mga 7.9. So it's roughly a 10% gain. No? So parang ko titingnan niyo why the hell did I so get to profit dito. Okay, so actually ito lang reason ko diyan no. Um medyo nandoon na kasi ako sa level na uh, right now for my November performance. Sobra-sobra na sobra-sobra na ako sa kota. Pero kung mga parang the 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 mindset there is kung sobra ang kota mo, why not let the trade go? Kung mga para hayaan ko na lang. I have this habit kasi na parang I always want to secure my profits kahit na lagpas na ako sa kota, no. So kung mga parang at 10%, yeah, uh, this can this can actually run to 10 pesos. Sabi natin 10 pesos yan. 25%. So, meron pang room for additional 15% gain. 